Today I'm going to teach you a skill that you should have been taught when you were a child but probably weren't how to be angry. Think of your anger like a wave. There are small ones that break without much fanfare and then there are the big ones that build and build and build until they crash upon the shore. It's perfectly normal to feel angry sometimes. What matters most is how big our waves tend to be and how we respond to them. Anger can serve a really powerful purpose. It can help you to safeguard your own well-being as well as the well-being of your community or the people you care about. But when we don't respond to it with wisdom, anger can create a lot of problems in our lives. Studies have found that it can negatively affect our relationships, our mental health, and even our physical health. The next time you're angry, take these three steps. One, catch the wave as it begins. Pay attention to early signs that you might be feeling anger. Do you feel more alert or judgmental? Do you feel it physically, like a racing heart or sweaty palms? You start changing your behavior, speaking more loudly, or making yourself bigger or shrinking down. As you start to notice the anger within you, name it. Say out loud, I'm feeling angry right now. This is one of the simplest but most powerful exercises to help you to tap into the wiser part of your brain. Step two, pause, step away, and care for yourself until the wave passes. If you're in a conversation with someone, you might say, I'm going to take a break and come back when I'm feeling able to carry on this conversation in a calm way. Or I want to have a constructive meeting, so let's revisit this in the future when we're both feeling up for it. You can then care for yourself by going for a walk, doing a workout, journaling, or talking to somebody about what you're feeling. Sometimes you can't physically distance yourself from the thing that's making you mad. In that case, focus on your breath. From your belly, breathe in slowly through your nose and out through your mouth. This pause can act like a wave breaker, preventing your anger from growing bigger. And most importantly, it can help help you to shift to responding instead of reacting. Step three, reflect on what your anger has to teach you. Once this wave has passed, you have the opportunity to learn more about yourself and what you need, as well as to decide what you want to do in the future in similar situations. There is a lot that we can learn from our anger if we ask ourselves these questions.